how Prophet of Allah looked like. And for some, this would be the first time you hear what your Prophet looked like. I saw a man of striking appearance. Look at the action and look at the back effect news like a, 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 a sound. I saw, I saw a man with a strike. It's like a gay club, man. I mean, this is describing for a man. Wahir al wada'a ablaj al wajh radiant face hasan al khalq beautifully created lam ta'ibhu al thajla his belly wasn't protruding it's very important to tell us about the belly of muhammad i mean we need details my brother do you have more details testicles penis his ass do you have more details fingers well, what what else you want to ask his belly what about his belly bomb come on i mean we arrived at the belly don't stop there he would describe even his cuff nor was his head disproportionate and small proportionate and delicate mm -hmm. finally made a specimen of a creation specimen. in his eyes there was a contrast brother females how many females now feel in love tell us more the dark was immensely dark the white was excessively white and his eyelashes were long. Stop. His eyelashes what? Brother. We reached the point we are describing the eyelashes of the beloved Prophet of Allah. And that supposedly will make us believe that Muhammad is a prophet of God. You know, what this guy, famous guy, is famous actor, uh, Alan Dalon, Dalon the Lulu, the Lulu, he must be God. Always I wanted to have a prophet like that. How we know a prophet he is a prophet or not? We have this is a serious question. How we know if a prophet is a prophet? He should have long eyelashes. And the Muslim they keep going in the in the, in the explanation. They say to you that the prophet he have the power of forty men of heaven, which means four thousand men insects. All of this to subscribe Muhammad. And look, we don't worship Muhammad. And who can guarantee that Muhammad even looked like that? Tell us more, brother. And his eyelashes were long. And in his voice was a natural echo. Brothers and sisters, 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 today I'm going to show you, show you, show you the natural echo, echo. I have my voice, 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 voice. Because I'm a prophet, 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 I'm going to show you the echo, which proves that I am a prophet, prophet, prophet. If somebody don't have echo in his voice, his voice, his voice, he is not a prophet, prophet, prophet. There's certain things we have to find in a prophet, prophet, prophet. He have to have echo, echo. He have to have eyelashes, lashes, lashes. He have to nice belly button. He have to have nice legs, 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 legs. His voice have a natural echo. So when Muhammad is he is the Quran, he says, Bismillah rahman rahim him 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 him. Alhamdulillah ilah 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 rahman rahim rahim him him. What the heck is that, man? I'm getting dizzy with this. Tell us more, brother. Oh, let us skip this garbage you know there's a there's a part where i like most on this video 
he described how sexy he is. Sexy Muhammad, come on, sexy Muhammad. Who is, I mean, come on, who is more sexy than Muhammad? We have to admit. The whole video is about how sexy Muhammad is. So now there's a guy, he was walking in the street at night. And then he looked at the moon. Look, 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 the moon is coming in the background. Rasulullah, Anas ibn Malik says, he says, I came out one night, uh, him. Uh, I came out one night. Uh, him. This guy is having an orgasm, literally. Uh, look, you are describing Muhammad doing that? Okay, so you were coming in the street at night and what happened, brother? Uh, him. I came out one night, that was the full moon night. Yeah. And look how emotional he gets. Look at the emotional. Look, 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 look at the emotion of, the, you know, he's, he's losing his voice. He cannot talk no more. He's getting so emotional because he's so sexy. Look, look, he will tell you a story, even though he repeated the story a million times before, but he's getting so emotional because the prophet's face is so hot, so sexy. Tell us, brother. And don't forget to put some tears in your eyes because it's so good to be true. He cannot talk. See, he... He put his hand up and he want to tell you now how the prophet face look like he's out of words it's not easy trust me it's not easy put yourself in his shoes or in his panty and i looked at the moon and in the desert understand the moon is is an awesome sight uh -huh. it is smooth it is radiant it is clear, uh -huh. it is gentle uh -huh. compared to the scorching sun at which they are used to. So the moon was the epitome of beauty. Uh -huh. So he says, I came out at a full moon night and I looked at the, at the moon. Stop. This guy is reporting a true story, brother. It was dark at night, very dark. The moon is in the sky, brother. The guy, he looked at the moon. And here we're and I saw it beautiful, handsome. So I said, "What? The moon was beautiful, handsome. Me. This religion have have a thing for everything. The moon was handsome. Okay, I got. It. Looked at the, at the moon, and I saw it beautiful, handsome." So I said, let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet. Now I have a decision. Today I'm going to go and check, I will compare, I will do an uh, uh, unboxing in YouTube. I will unbox the moon for you, brother, and I will box, uh, unbox the prophet Muhammad. And we will see how much the power of light, who is more, like LED is, LED is better. Today we will do a scientific study to see exactly how many luminous the moon have and how many limousine the prophet have. Limousine and limousine, what is that? I mean, who cares, man? This is Islam. You can say whatever you want. As long as you are praising Muhammad, just throw it there. They will love it. Well, handsome. So I said, let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome. Let, let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful. Did you see, did you hear the word beautiful? I mean, aren't they ashamed? The beautiful Muhammad? Okay, I will make my coming video called beautiful Muhammad, the pretty Muhammad. Our topic, the pretty Muhammad. Beautiful? We are talking about a man. The beautiful Muhammad. Okay. It's more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful. So I went and I saw him standing afar. So I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon. Stop, man. What happened exactly? I look at the, his face, I look at the moon, I look at his face, I look at the moon, I look at his face, I look at the moon, I look at his face, I look at the moon, I look at his face, I look at the moon, I look at the face, and I look at the moon. 
excuse me I mean shouldn't Muhammad so bright right away we do not need more than two looks you're insulting the Prophet now if I am there I will make Muhammad look from the first look I mean when you are insulting the Prophet brother the guy he looked three four five six seven times at the moon at Muhammad to see which one is more shiny he needed ten times to find out shame he should find out from the first look I mean how in the world you do that you just insulted the Prophet of Allah I mean even how oh, how in the world the guy he had to look twice or thrice or thrice or five sir or seven size or ten eyes shouldn't Muhammad win the competition from the first look what kind of a companion he is this companion shame on you Prophet Muhammad should win immediately we do not need even to look at the moon you idiot the moon himself was looking at the Prophet and the moon he said look at me I'm out of light compared to this man he's so white so handsome I don't know really what to say but I have a feeling that Muhammad he was way more than just a prophet for the Muhammad <clears throat> I don't know if you agree with me or not tell us more brother at the moon and I saw it beautiful handsome so I said let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful so I went and I saw him standing afar so I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon and I looked at his face and I looked at the moon that is just the look of your Rasul Aisha radiallahu anha says, I was sewing with the needle. My needle dropped in the dark. I couldn't find it. I said, Ya Rasul, I can't find it. He moved his face close and I swear, bout of the radiance of his face, I found my needle. Muhammad is a flashlight. Aisha at dark, she cannot find things. She asked the Prophet to move his face. And because his face is so white and so bright, she Muslims, what is the point of this video? He is sexy and you know it. What is that, man? <laughs> Stop there. Aisha, she was able to find the needle by asking the prophet to move his face toward the spot in the ground that's way above what i can handle and now we have to admit the prophet was so sexy oh hold on i thought the quran saying that Allah he did plastic surgery to fix the breast of the Prophet so how he was so sexy and Allah is fixing his breast huh? the first plastic surgery done for a man was not for a man from Thailand it was for a man from Arabia Read the verse with me, brother. What is the verse? Hold on. Yeah, let me go. Hold on. A prophet who Allah Did the plastic surgery for his chest.
Have we not caused the bosom to delight? Maybe this translation is wrong, you know. This is Bikta. Let us see a different one. Hilali and Khan. Uh, what? Have we not opened your breast for you? What? Allah, he opened the breast for Muhammad. What does that mean? Change, change translation because this guy, I don't know, it's confusing me. Maybe a better translation we can get. Yusuf Ali, Yusuf Ali. Have we not expanded the breast? What? Allah, he did a booby surgery for the Prophet. Sorry, I cannot show you a picture of the booby now. That would be appropriate. But this is what it's fit for this. Uh, oh, I found something. Can We can use it. Okay. So Allah, brother, he noticed that the boobies of the Prophet are not in good size. So Allah expanded his breast. Look how Allah is busy. Allah is making surgery to clean his chest, to clean his belly. Allah is storing the dish of wisdom. Allah is storing the dish of faith. Allah is fixing the breast of Muhammad, expanding his breast. Allah is sending through 12 months verses to cure Muhammad from bewitched. I mean, this man Muhammad, he made Allah so busy. I feel sorry for Allah, honestly. I mean, this guy, he was keeping Allah so occupied. Surgery after surgery after surgery to fix him. Huh? And then, uh, and we removed the burden. The burden of Muhammad was in his bosom, his breast. You know what? I know it. That why, why women, they have breast? You think about it. Obviously, because they have a burden there. So Allah, he expanded the breast of Muhammad. In the same time, he removed from inside the breast the burden. And he put silicones, obviously. That's deep. Plastic surgery is haram. This guy is saying plastic surgery is haram. So why Allah he did it? Isn't, isn't it Allah cutting the chest of Muhammad? In storing a dish of wisdom, a dish of this is plastic surgery? Isn't it this uh, uh, verse in the front of you is a plastic surgery? What are you talking about? So what we were reading all the last two hours about your prophet, the angel cutting his chest and then storing a dish of wisdom, a dish of faith in his chest. And now you are coming back to me, says to me, uh, the plastic surgery is haram. And no, it's not. Let me ask you, what is the reason plastic surgery is haram? The one who said the plastic surgery is haram. Maybe, maybe, a Muslim, who can help us? Why plastic surgery is haram? Well, my Skype is off now. We have enough for today with quarters and stupidity. Why plastic surgery is wrong? Any Muslim can tell me? It's not covered by insurance. Who care about this insurance now? What those guys are talking about? Hey, hello. This is a topic about religion, not about insurance. Nothing is covered by insurance. You see, insurance companies, the only good thing about them, they take your check. When something happens, they don't know you. They will find one million excuse not to cover you. So all those who practice buying insurance, they are fooling themselves, especially in America. That's why they send you like a, a hundred pages in a small, tiny letter so you cannot read them. And nobody complain in the Congress. You see, have you ever heard of such a contract? They send you a contract nobody can read. 
It's haram because of changing how Allah made you, Adam. That's deep. Adam, from now on, brother, I'm going to make you an admin when the chat is a close, which means when I'm not live on air. Guys, look what Adam he said, and this has shown us the ignorance and the stupidity of Islam. Plastic surgery is haram because doing that, you are changing how Allah made you. So why you do circumcise the man? And why you do circumcise the women? Are you there? As long as changing the way Allah made you is haram. So why you are doing circumcision? Didn't Allah make you the way you are? Idiot. This is my problem with those who speak to me. I cannot find somebody have an intelligence level to talk to. No, people don't think. People, they throw things, you know. Allah, he want to keep you because this is how Allah, he made you. But you must have, you don't keep the man how he was made. You don't keep the woman how he, she was made. You go far, even circumcised, to cut the whole thing of the women. Didn't your prophet, he made his hair red? You want to be red, pretty, blondy? Will Allah make you have a gray hair? Keep it a gray hair. See the hypocrisy? So when they want, it is haram. When they want, it's okay. As long as Muhammad did it, it's fine. When Allah, he cut the chest of Muhammad, installed dishes, and this is this plastic surgery, this is adjustment. This is adjustment. Inserting something inside the body of a human being is what the plastic surgery do. Plastic surgery, they don't make you new, have a new breast. They just push some cushions and silicone and etc. Here we go, your prophet, he got that. Well, we are not the one who's making excuse, saying you don't change how, how God made you. For us, we get circumcised because God said that to the in the in the Bible. So, if you don't want to change the way Allah is, so you should not obey anyone who says to you, "Change the way Allah He made you." Isn't it Muhammad? He put eyeliner three times. He color his hair. Do Muhammad? use sugar to take hair from his body isn't it, this is a change in the way you look like how allah made you allah made the man with hair in his body why you take it off and why a prophet of god he used sugar to remove hair from his <clears throat> Let us see. <coughs> Read carefully with me, but I, I want to see if I can find in English first. If Allah he gave you hair in your chest or around your private part or in your legs, Muhammad he used to take hair from all his body. Uh, here we go. He began with his private area coating it with hair, removing, etc., and his wife, you know, and, and then he do all his body. All his body. Muhammad, he shave hair from all his body by sugar. This is what girls do in the Middle East. There's no man who do that. It's a shame in the Middle East to do that for a man. Everybody know that. Only women, they do such a thing. 
This man, who is he have time for hair in his body? Why? What for? It's an insult for me. Maybe some people in Europe, they do that. But for me, it's an insult to take hair from my body. Why? Why only do that? I will look like a girl. What, Muhammad, you want to look pretty? He's going to go in the bikini in the beach? So how we should not change the way Allah, he made you, and then you do all of this? He color his hair red. He take the hair of his body. You want to be like, look, look like a girl. Uh, he, you know, he do circumcision. Plastic surgery for his chest. Crazy stuff. Always, you know, in life you have to make choices. And obviously Islam is a bad, very bad choice for anyone. Because Islam, the first thing it does, it kills your brain. It doesn't allow you to think. Because thinking is not allowed in Islam. Questioning is forbidden. Chapter 5, verse 101 says, Ask not questions of things which may be plain for you. Why? Verse number 502 explain because if you do that, you will leave the faith. And if you do that, we will kill you. So Islam is very clear in that. It's a religion where nothing there makes sense. In the same time, you cannot question what does not make sense. The stupidity of Muhammad is intelligence, if you are a Muslim. Muhammad says stupid things, he is amazing still. Muhammad, he says something against history, against science, against it's okay, Muhammad is genius. Don't ever dare to question Muhammad. And if you question, we kill you. As simple as that. And if you question, you leave Islam. As simple as that. But if you are asking questions, which is silly, as an example, brother, is it okay to eat ice cream with my fiance? That is welcome question. Stupid question. Brother, is it okay to shave under my arm? That is a very good question. Brother, is it okay that I was having sexual intercourse with my wife and a drop of her milk drop in my mouth? Is she became a sister now? Those questions are very welcome. I remember once a Muslim woman, she called a Muslim TV station. I wish at that time I have a software to record or something. Obviously, she is making fun of the sheikhs. She said, uh, Salaam Alaikum, you know, like in a very like a feminine voice. The two sheikhs started drinking water like non-stop. Uh, wa alaykum salam sister she said uh, I have a question please so sure, sure sister uh, I'm very beautiful and when I take off my clothes uh, shake in front of the fish tank my sister told me that the fish they start shaking the shake he look at the second shake and the second shake look at the first shake and they grab the water okay sister uh, I think sister uh, the first, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, sister. Uh, first, sister, we advise you, sister, not to take off your clothes in front of the fish tank because those fish, they are a male genie and they are looking at a beautiful body. You should see the guy who was saying it. The woman, she said, huh, okay, but uh, this is the only room I have in the house. The guy, he said to her, okay, sister. <clears throat> he can't even talk no more. He said, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, okay, why you don't cover the fish tank with the blanket? Because sister, those genie, they are looking at your body and doing something. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, the sister, she is calling and millions of people watching the TV stations, satellite TV stations. 
telling them how beautiful sexy she is and the fish brother masturbating when she see when they see her taking off her clothes I mean come on put yourself in the shoes of those fish you're a fish in a tank and beautiful girl taking off her clothes in the front of you and the sheikh confirmed those fish are having a genie they are male genie not lesbian you have to be honest here he did not even think about lesbian fish no 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 they are male genie and they are looking at your beautiful poor body sister and this crazy women she is making fun of them she see her her voice unbelievable it's like a sex movie I don't want to make the sound she is doing because it's embarrassment this is what they do Islamic TV programs question and answer brother can my wife when she is praying show her toes brother prophet said right away the the sheikh is volunteering he have an answer ask him how Allah sit in the chair don't ask how Allah look like don't ask Allah wa how Allah go up and down Allah wa any question Allah wa ask silly question all of them alam all of them they have knowledge but anyway we learn things if you are a person who have a fish at home please take a note those fish are looking at your wife when she take off her clothes I mean come on you don't want that to happen to you do you hey brother I have a cat same Muslim believe that genie can be inside anything and he have sex with Muslim women if you search right now for sex with genie you will find endless articles made by Muslims you might think I'm joking I'm not sex with jinn Muhammad he told them they you know they have sex with you so it's not like a Someone told him a Jain have sex with you. Look at this topic, man. Islamweb.net. Uh -huh. The scholar brother differ about the opinion regarding human having sexual intercourse with genie. Some of them deny it, some of them confirm it. Anyway, brother, you should turn to Allah. Look, where is the answer? The answer yes or no? Stupid <laughs> is amazing. Oh boy. Okay. Let us see. Different website. Hold on. Can a jinn have sex with my wife? Look at this guy. This guy, he is, he can't sleep. This guy, he woke up in the middle of the night. He went to the internet. And now he need an, a question, an, a, the question to be answered now by the sheikh. Can a jinn have sex with my wife? For sure she can have him. Mean, look at her. I mean, come on, Abdul. Not only a jinn he can, he will invite his friends. Can a jinn have sex with my wife? And here he is quoting the hadith. The prophet says, when a man have intercourse with his wife and he does not say the name of Allah, the jinn coils around his uthra, around his penis, and do intercourse with him, beside him. This hadith, prophet saying so. If the prophet, he says so, it's true. Al-Hakim al-Turmudi. Hadith number Ibn Jarir, at Tabari, Tafsir, blah 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 blah, narrated, blah blah blah, Mujahid said, blah 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 blah. When a man have intercourse and he don't say in the name of Allah, the genie brother, 
the genie he will round himself around your penis. The first kingdom can be recognized. Huh? Well, a uh, black dog, you you contact Zach and Nick and ask him. A Christian prince is making fun of the genie having sex with the Muslim women. Uh, he let him answer us. Jinn can be human too. Ah, okay, Jinn can be human too. Yeah, and can be angel. You know, your prophet, he have a, 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 an, an angel. He came to him, it's called al Abiyad, but he was a genie, right? And he was shaitan, alhamdulillah. And he gave him satanic verses. Ah, uh, yeah. What a messed up fiction, stupid religion. All perfect to Allah. So after a few days of this question and without proper answer, I decide to gather some reference, brother. Look, look at this frontier. Yes, the hadith is authentic. Okay, brother. So anyway, the conclusion, yes, your wife, she can be boom boom by a genie. Actually, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see a guy who opened the door of the bedroom and his wife, she was doing something. And he claimed, actually, I don't know which number is that, uh, he claimed that he saw a fire around her, you know, <clears throat> <laughs> now, the sheikh he told him the reason there's a fire there, brother, because she is having sex with the genie. Have you ever heard of a woman private part caught in fire? Because the prophet says genie are made of fire, so that makes sense. The guy he went there to have sex with this woman, and her bushes is dry, so he cut her bushes in fire. <laughs> I better stop here, otherwise we might die laughing and you guys will go crazy.